How much access should the Office of Police Oversight, a civilian group, have? Well, Austinites are going to vote on that very issue tomorrow. KXAN's Grace Reader has what you need to know going into Election Day tomorrow. You may not see long lines at the polls tomorrow. Austin voters have competing police oversight measures on their ballots and still... Probably won't get to 10% of the people eligible to vote. And those who really deeply care probably have voted already. That's political tomorrow, science professor Brian Smith. And he says these competing propositions aren't likely to drive big turnout. But he also pointed out it might not be the typical downtown folks playing the biggest part in how the city moves forward with police oversight. The Anders School District creeps into the city of Austin. They have a bond election. That affects people's taxes. That affects how much they're paying. That affects their schools. So that part of the city has more incentive to come and vote. And even though the election is Saturday, that may not be the end of it. The people on the side of Prop B, which is backed by the police association, say Prop A violates state law. The thought is that whichever proposition wins, uh, the other side will mount a legal challenge. Uh, and this isn't really election law, this is really just based on, uh, it would be just a challenge to the validity of the ordinance. There's also a chance both pass, and what happens after that is still unclear. I think the most interesting thing would be is if both propositions do pass, A and B, then what does the city of Austin do? Grace Reader, KXAN News. And the city of Austin said this election is expected to cost roughly $1.2 million dollars. In addition to police oversight propositions, school district bonds and trustee elections are going to make up the bulk of the ballots. You can get up to speed right now on KXAN.com.